Hello guys, it's Deep Show over here and today I'm going to show you how to create this ink smudge effect in Photoshop. Also, if you want to learn how to create such cool effects using Photoshop, then hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So the first step over here is we need to convert this image into a smart object. So for that, right click on the background layer and then select convert to smart object option over there. After that we need to crop this image such that only the face of the model is visible over here. So for that select crop tool and then crop it as follows. So this looks proper so after that click on the stick icon to crop it. After that go to view and then select fit on screen option over there. Now we want a background with white color over here, so for that create a new layer by clicking on create new layer icon and then select the paint bucket tool. After that set the foreground color as white and then using paint bucket tool fill the layer with white color. After that drag that layer at the bottom. After that make the model layer active by clicking on it. Now go to filter. And then select filter gallery over there. After that expand the artistic folder. And then select dry brush option. Now you can set the options of the dry brush according to your image. So that it looks somewhat like this. I have set the brush size as 10. Brush detail as 10. And then texture as 1. After that click on ok. Now we need to create a new group so for that click on create new group option. After that click on add layer mask icon. After that make the model layer active by clicking on it. And then press ctrl plus A which will give you the selection of whole image. After that press ctrl plus C to copy the selection. Then press ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. After that click on the mask icon of the group. And then press Alt and again click on the mask icon of the group. Which will show you the mask of the group over here. After that press Ctrl plus V to paste the selection over here. So as you can see it is in the black and white format. After that again press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Now I want the black part of the image to be more highlighted. So for that go to image and then adjustments and then select brightness and contrast option. After that set the contrast according to the blackness you want. I am setting it as 80. So this looks good. After that click on OK. After that we need to invert this mask. So for that press Ctrl plus I to invert it. After that click on the group icon to make the whole group layer active. Now we need to hide this model layer. So for that click on this eye icon over here. Now bring in the smudge image in this layer. Download link for the smudge image is in the description below. Now place the image as it is for now by clicking on the stick icon. Now we need to drag this ink smudge image layer inside of the group which we have created. So for that drag it as follows and place it inside the group. So as you can see the image has been placed inside the group. After that make the ink smudge image layer active by clicking on it and then press ctrl plus T. Now scale and place the image accordingly while scaling press shift to scale evenly. So as you can see the model image is visible inside of the ink smudge image over here. After that click on the stick icon once it looks proper. Now bring in the second ink smudge image over here. Now this time as you can see it has already been placed inside of the group. So now you can directly scale and place it accordingly. So this looks proper. After that click on the stick icon to place it. After that change the blend mode of the second ink smudge image layer to multiply. After that press ctrl plus j to create a duplicate of the current ink smudge image layer. And then press ctrl plus t to scale it. And then place it using the move tool. You can rotate it as well. 
So this looks good after I click on this tick icon to place it. So like this we create the duplicate of the two ink smudge layers and fill the image over here as follows. So as you can see this looks good now. So now minimize the group layer by clicking on this drop down icon and then make the model image layer active by clicking on it. After that create a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl plus J. Now bring that image layer at the top. After that unhide it by clicking on the eye icon. After that set the foreground color as black. And then press Alt and Backspace key of your keyboard to fill the mask with black color. After that select Brush Tool. And then click on Toggle Brush Panel icon over here. Placing it properly. Now select any Ink Smudge brush from it. Download link for the Ink Smudge brush is in the description below. Now set the foreground color as white. And then set the opacity of the brush to 75%. After that you can change the size of the brush using the square bracket key of your keyboard. Also you can change using the slider as well. Now you can rotate the brush using this slider over here or else you can change the angle directly as well. Now using the brush tool click on the image as follows. So as you can see as you click on the image it brings back the model color image. So like this way keep changing the brush, its size and rotate it and fill the image as follows. So this looks good now but I still want the skin color over here to lighten up a little. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select hue saturation over there. After that set the saturation accordingly and then minimize it. So this looks good. So now we need to merge all the visible layers over here into a single layer. So for that press Ctrl plus Shift plus Alt plus E. So as you can see all the layers have been merged into a single layer. Now right click on the newly created layer and then select convert to smart object over there. After that go to filter and then select filter gallery option. After that expand the texture folder. And then select texturizer over there. After that set the scaling to 85%. Relief to 5 and then click on OK. After that double click on the filter gallery blending options. And then set the opacity of the filter to 50%. And then click on OK. So that's it guys this will give you your ink smudge effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button, also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching, bye bye.